Alright students, uh, please read the questions. So you are given the liquid liquid extraction problem. So this is a uh, multiple stages uh, liquid liquid extraction. And the information given here, I have uh, summarized all the informations that you have in the questions where acetic acid is your solute. Your feed consists of aqueous solution and uh, it consists of acetic acid. So the rest of the composition is the water. And then you are using the solvent, which is a pure solvent. Okay. And then uh, you are given extra information here, where the coordinates of M is given by the ratio of 1 to 1. M from Vn plus 1 is one part. M from L0 is also one part. So you can see if you were to have these two coordinates for Vn plus 1 and L0, the length of this line will give you the midpoint and that midpoint is your coordinate M's. Okay, So you can use the formula to calculate the middle point or the midpoint along a line. So you are to find the flow rates of isopropyl ether entering the extractor and then find the composition of extract and raffinate. So if you look at the solution later, so this extract and raffinate composition can be found through or using the graph, graphical method. Okay, where you using you are using the right angle triangle graphical uh, graph to get the information for XAN and XCN. So to get your B component or XPN, what you need to do is to have 1 minus the total of XAN and XCN. Same thing here. From the graph, you can get YA1 and YC1. To get YB1, so you need to have 1 minus the total of YA1 and YC1. So the three composition, the mole fraction or the weight fraction that you have here is equal to 1. Okay. Then you need to calculate the number of theoretical stages required for the system. To calculate this uh, number of stages, you need to calculate the number of tie lines. Okay. So you can get this uh, information from the graphical method. Plot L0, LN, and Vn plus 1. Then draw a line of L0 to Vn plus 1 to get your point M because it is given in the questions the ratio of Vn plus 1 and M is 1 to 1. So we can plot M. So the coordinate can be found as 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Next is to draw the line from LN to M and then extend the line to get your V1. So this is your V1. So we can get the coordinate for V1 as 0 0.32 and 0 0.56. Okay. Okay, once we have recognized the coordinates for V1, now we can uh, draw and find the coordinates for L1. Vertical line downward and then we draw a horizontal line and then vertical line upward until it reach the equilibrium curve to get L1. So this is your L1 which lies on the raffinate layer. So we need to draw 
two more lines to find the reference point. So we draw from L1 to reference point to get V2. So this is uh, where V2 is placed. From uh, V2, we can get L2. Right? So all the L uh, must be placed on this particular refinite layer. And all the Vs will be on the extract layer. Now draw a straight line from L2 to reference point. So from L2 point, we can get the V3. From V3, we can get L3. Okay, now we can get V4. So this is our V4. Okay, from V4, we can get L4. So it looks like uh, L4 lies on Ln. Okay, now we can stop drawing the lines. Okay. If L4 lies beyond this particular line, which is to the left of Ln, then we can stop. Okay, now we can draw the tie lines. The first stage that you have for the first tie line is formed between L1 to V1. Next tie line is from V2 to L2. And then the third one is from V3 to L3. And the last one is from V4 to L4. Okay. So now the number of stages is 4.